All right, y'all, it's Water God TV. We back, man. The Real Estate Rico, DJ Envy, and Caesar. They don't got nothing on this. This is a this is big. This is probably the biggest real estate home buying conspiracy ever. All right, let's get into this now. So if you guys are new to this, it's just been reported that home sellers win 1.8 billion after jury finds conspiracy among realtors okay so this is crazy because i think this may be uh this may be the domino effect that make housing prices go down and also real estate agents commission goes down okay so the influential national association of realtors and several brokerages were ordered to pay damages to home sellers who said they were forced to pay excessive fees to real estate agents all right so a federal now guys this article is by the new york times and i'm not going to read the whole article i'm going to read just the important pieces that i think you guys should know but if you want to read the article in its entirety you can and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel man as water god tv and in the description i have you know it's getting spooky out here so i got things to make sure you're getting good clean water at your home remedies for medication or any injuries or uh problems you have so you can deal with it you know we at war we could be facing world war three so i got a lot of good stuff in the descriptions uh y'all check it out now let's get into this a federal jury ruled on tuesday that the powerful national association of realtors and several large brokerages had conspired to artificially inflate the commissions paid to real estate agents a decision that could radically alter the home buying process in the united states so hold on before i go any further imagine right if you had cars everybody got cars right imagine if you got a car right you bought this car right and when you sell the car you had to go to like a car salesman a car dealership you couldn't just sell it yourself and then they got commission off of the price that you had to pay all right so right now how they got it is if a realtor you know sold a million dollar home you'd be looking at sixty thousand dollars in commission sixty thousand dollar commission that's crazy that the seller has to i mean that's the commission that the seller has to pay so it's like what this is crazy why would somebody want to pay the brokerage another 60 you're looking at one hundred and twenty thousand that you got to pay somebody to sell your house like you can put your house up for sale and sell it yourself but I respect the hard working real estate agents out there. I feel like they do do a service, but man, your price is gonna have to come down, man. We're probably not looking at a $60,000, a 6% cut. It probably may go to half of that. But let's read more. The realtors group and brokerages were ordered to pay damages of nearly 1.8 billion. The verdict allows the court to issue treble damages which means they could swell to more than five billion dollars are you crazy five b's okay so it's a decision that has the potential to rewrite the entire structure of the real estate industry in the united states lowering the cost of moving homes by reducing commissions under a nar rule a home seller is required to pay commissions to the agent representing the buyer which sellers claim forced them to pay excessive fees to the agent. The home seller said the brokerage collaborated with NAR to enforce what is called the cooperative compensation rule. Okay, so by un but under the verdict, the sellers would no longer be required to pay their buyer agents and agents would be free to set their own commission rate, which could be slashed in half or less. For example, a home seller with a million with a million home can now pay as much as 60 60,000 in agent commissions. 30,000 to their agent and 30,000 to the buyer's agent. So, uh it's just crazy. Y'all see that this could make home prices lower. Real estate, you know, may have to find them. You know, they may need to be, you know, call me. Any real estate agents, man. We sell water treatment equipment environmentally. You know, I got a company. You guys can help homeowners get water treatment equipment into their home. 
you ain't got to worry about waxing and, and, and taxing, you know, everybody for them purchasing a the home. I ain't joking. I'm, I'm for real. But let's let's read more. It says uh, NAR said it plans to appeal the verdict and in an international and internal memo sent to some members on Tuesday and obtained by the New York Times, the current NAR president, Tracy Casper, wrote, we remain confident we will ultimately prevail. I mean, it's good to stay positive, but this verdict does not require a change in our rules, she continued. Now, more than 1.5 million real estate agents across the United States pay dues to the organization in order to call themselves realtors and assure home sellers and home buyers that they are aligned with the organization's strict policies on ethics and home transactions. Hmm. But after a series of sexual harassment allegations led to the resignation of the organization's president this summer, Tuesday's ruling threatens to further diminish the influence and could, according to some real estate agents, prompt many to abandon them entirely. So, wow, we may be looking at no more real estate agents, period. Hey, my mom's a real estate agent and a broker, so I don't know. We may need to, we may got to figure something out. Now, if commissions uh, can be lowered, the price of every home will come down. Jobs and wages will go up. Tax revenues will increase. People can easily move to better and more fulfilling jobs, he wrote. Other lawsuits are now imminent. Within minutes of receiving the verdict on Tuesday, the lawyers for the defendants entered another class action suit into the U.S. District Court of Missouri. That case filed on behalf of three new home sellers also claims the practice of having home sellers pay sales commissions to buyer agents is a violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act. It names NAR as a defendant as well as several major brokerages, including Compass, XP, World Holdings, Redfin, and Douglas Element. So, this is huge. This is huge. Now, I think that this could be a domino effect in the real estate industry. I think definitely the price, the prices that real estate agents are going to be commissioned is going to be it's going to be cut. Even if people saying, hey, man, I don't even want to pay all of that. I want all of my money. If I want to sell my home, I want all of my money. I had to pay all of my money, you know, but I respect the real, like I said, my mom's a real estate broker and a real estate agent. Okay. She carries both. So I respect the hustle. I respect the hard work that they put in to make sure, you know, they putting food on their table for their families. Because, you know, my mom and my dad, it was, you know, doing the house thing and it was putting food on the table. So, wow. I want to know what y'all think, though. What do you think about this inflation of prices to get real estate agents and brokers to be getting high commissions? What do you think about that? What do you think is going to happen? Okay. Do you think real estate agents is going to have to find another career? Because, you know, they were... Not making a lot of people thinking that real estate agents made a lot of money, but they didn't. You know, they were hardworking people like everybody else, pulling in forty, fifty thousand dollars a year on average. You know, some even less than that. But things is getting spooky out here. Let me know what y'all think, man. Make sure y'all tap into the description, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.